Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed the working of the three-phase induction motor up to the induced currents of the rotor circuit. Just to observe, the rotor is three-phase winding. Three-phase winding and windings also three-phase winding and displaced by 120 degrees. So those all are displaced by 120 degrees. So automatically, so it will giving the it will generate the three phase supply and three phase windings is there. Then automatically rotor will produce again the rotor MMF. Rotor MMF. This rotor MMF again will produce the rotor rotating magnetic field. The rotor RMF rotor RMF will be produced. So this rotor RMF also again rotates with the synchronous speed. Again rotates with the synchronous speed. So we have two things whenever for example just take it here this is the example this is the stator and this is the rotor. Initially stator is having the RMF rotates with the synchronous speed and rotor also having a rotor RMF okay it is also with the synchronous speed whenever two RMFs whenever two RMFs rotates with same speed rotates with rotates with the same synchronous speed with some displacement both are not at a time definitely it should have some displacement then automatically torque will be produced torque will be produced the torque will rotate the motor that torque will rotate the rotate the armature why the the torque will rotate the armature how the rotation how the rotation what is the position of the rotation the speed is it we, both are in synchronous speed and this is the motor the motor the rotor uh, the rotor of the induction motor also rotates in the same direction of the magnetic fields so rotation is same direction of RMF directions same direction of stator RMF as well as rotor RMF why in the same direction the by the lens law by the lens law by the lens law lens law what lens law effect Lens law effect oppose the cause. Effect oppose the cause. So how it affect? What is the effect? Effect we can name it as the current in rotor conductors. We can name it current induced in the rotor conducts. What is the cause? How the currents will be reduced? The relative speed between the EM relative speed between the conductors as well as the flux. So here the cause is the relative speed. So the cause is the relative speed. So to decrease the relative speed between the rotor, the between the rotor and the flux, rotor and the flux, the rotation of rotation of rotor is same direction of RMF stator RMF and the rotor RMF. So that induction motor rotates rotates with speed of with speed of just take it as NR the speed of NR it will be rotates with the speed of NR. So we will discuss some conditions about this first initial the case one for example we have a case one case 1 so initially rotor have we have a stator flux stator flux 
stator RMF and the rotor. Generally, stator with rotates with NS and rotor is initially zero position. Initially with the zero position. Then, then the rotor have then automatically rotor rotates with the speed of nr this is the case one for the case two again the state r ns and rotor is nr then it will rotates with the speed of s into ns s into ns and for example at case three the rotor speed is increases to ns then what happened rotor speed is increases to ns then what happen the rotor will have rotates with the zero speed rotates with the zero speed that means here the condition is always stator rmf means it's a fixed value there is no change but rotor initially zero after rotates with nr after it will reach the synchronous speed after that it will become zero again after it will become nr again it will become ns that means the rotor speed will be slightly varied the rotor speed will be slightly varied so by this variation we can directly give the formula of the rotor speed of induction motor rotor speed of the induction motor represented by a formula that formula is like this that is rotor speed of induction motor is nr by slip times of ns sorry not slip times of ns ns equal 1 minus s into nr equal 1 minus s into ns so the speed will be like this this is 1 minus s into ns what is s here s is the slip s will be the slip the slip will be very much useful to understand the speed of the induction motor the slip is the formula ns minus nr by ns into ns if you take the percentage is slip that will become the 100 what is slip so we can it is the ratio uh, ratio of ratio of the difference of the difference of synchronous speed synchronous speed and and rotor speed to rotor speed to synchronous speed is known as slip synchronous speed is known as slip so this slip factor will give the exact analysis of the speed the exact analysis of the speed okay yeah so this is the speed formula slip formula generally slip percentage of slip generally varies from 1% to 3% 1% to 3% that means the slip value is from 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 so so that's why the slip will factor at a particular time will give the speed of the induction motor will give the speed of the induction motor okay so so this is about the working of the three phase induction motor working of the three phase induction motor the only thing and we can tell the another thing also the we can name it as another another way that another way is like this the emf induced in rotor we can we can name it another way so how how we can do the another way generally we have the rotor is there generally we have the rotor and the stator also we have some plugs and rotor also this rotor consisting of the some currency is there and rotor also have a stator also having some flux is there okay how it acts so stator the flux is there and this rotor just look at it's, it's acting as a current carrying conductor 
it acting as a current carrying conductor how so look at here rotor after some time rotor is acts as a current carrying conductor whenever current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field the torque will act on the rotor torque will act on the rotor so then the rotor will rotates then the rotor will rotates by that rotor have uh, by that rotor will rotates so same thing same formula how it rotates it effect by the again lens law again lens law effect oppose the cause effect oppose the cause what is effect here effect is the torque opposing the cause what is the cause there cause is the relative speed that's why this torque will decrease the try to decrease the relative speed. how we decrease the relative speed so for example it will re replace with the synchronous speed and the this is about the state r rotates with the synchronous speed here we have the rotor the rotor is rotates with same direction nr and what is the relative speed that will become ns minus nr for example state r rotates with ns in this direction rotor is reverse direction then what is the relative speed ns plus nr so if you rotates reverse direction the relative speed will be increases so it is not applicable but both are in, in the same direction the relative speed will be decreases so it will be applicable so by that it will also rotates by that it will also rotates so this is the working of the three phase induction motor okay i hope all of you understand this the working of the three phase induction motor thank you